What's up guys, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I have some unexpected and what I'm going to call unfortunate news in my opinion. Uh, the revised ranger is dead. So, I, I, I just, I'm a little shocked to be honest with you. The fact that revised ranger exists in the first place is because of the aforementioned and many occasion on this channel and everywhere else on the internet that the ranger in fifth edition seems to be underpowered in a lot of its aspects especially compared to other classes now i realize that other classes are different and you guys can fight me on that i'm sure and i'm sure i'll get a lot of negative feedback in the comments but hear me out i compare ranger a lot of the time to paladin it's another half casting class and they sort of fit that same martial d10 hit dice half casting martial mixed with magic class and if you compare the two on face value paladin is just way better in a lot of aspects now you may argue and tell me that paladin is overpowered and you're entitled to that opinion but i think paladin is one of the best designed classes in fifth edition dungeons and dragons so therefore, in my opinion, Ranger falls short. Uh, again, not that Wizards of the Coast didn't think that as well, as they released back in 2017 the Revised Ranger, or the Ranger Revised, whatever you want to call it, which was an attempt to look back at the Ranger and adjust some of those features. Now, a lot of us have been saying, when are we going to see this published in a book? Is it going to be in Xanathar's Guide to Everything? Is it going to be in Morden Kane's Tome of Foes? Is it going to be in X new book? And the answer was an unequivocal no, it will not be included in any of those because the statement was made that this is a correction or an alternative version of that class and as such it should not be offered for you to have to pay for it to get it. So how do they fix that? They're going to, when it's ready, release it as a free PDF that you can download and if you wish to play it, you can. And if you want to play the one that's contained in the player's handbook, you can play that one. They even went so far as to say if it were when it was released, as far as Adventurer's League was concerned, you would choose to play one or the other. You couldn't mix and match. You could choose to play the Unearthed Arcana version, the Revised Ranger, or the player's handbook version. So that was thrown out there. So they even went so far as to what will happen if that was the case. So I bring you to the information that I have to show to you today which was just from the past couple of days and it came to me actually i found it through dan dylan from cobalt presses uh his twitter account so let's take a look over here so jeremy crawford had tweeted here in response to the kazoolis uh on the 27th so two days ago at the time of this recording if a year or had said is there any unofficial announcement on when you ua content gets abandoned um, like the feats for skills uh, on Arth Arcana, which a lot of people do like using, uh, when this thing is basically, there's no way it'll ever get used again. So Jeremy Crawford said, if a year or more has passed since something appeared in Arth Arcana and that thing hasn't appeared in a D&D &D book, that thing is unlikely to become official. If it beats the odds and moves forward, you're likely to see it in UA again in a revised form. Makes sense. Uh, we've seen this with a lot of classes. The classes that were in the original Unearthed Arcana class focus, uh, or subclass focus, the ones that got revised versions of them, or a second visit, were the ones that ended up in Xanathar's Guide to Everything. The ones that didn't, did not. Things like the Phoenix Sorcerer, and the Sea Sorcerer, and the Earth Sorcerer, um, the, what is it, the Treachery Paladin, you know, all these different, uh, the Tranquility Monk, you know, things that didn't make it, didn't make it going forward. So... Um, then you can see there's a whole bunch of comments here, all oh, hanging there, Mystic, oh, the Mystic will be, blah, 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 Psionics exist. So, Dan, Dylan, tweets, Someone want to check the date of the last revised Ranger iteration for me? In Stilling, has it been over a year? Will the range, revised Ranger be dead? And here is the, un the, <sighs> the sad news. Regarding the revised Ranger, this was yesterday, this is... Less than 24 hours from the time of me making this video, at 7.39 p.m., Jeremy Crawford tweeted, Regarding the Revised Ranger, I mentioned back in 2017, we have no plans to release an alternative version of a class. That plan hasn't changed. 
there is one ranger, the one in the player's handbook, which is extremely unfortunate. So let's go ahead and look up revised ranger. Um, or where is it? It's called the ranger, the ranger revised. So I'm trying to find the actual link to this. Oh, this isn't it, but maybe we can get the link here from this forum post because I can't actually seem to find the direct version of it. So let's go here. Here we go. This was released on the 12th of September, 2016. So in, um, in September of 2016, uh, here we can read it right here. Over the past year, you've seen us try a number of new approaches to the Ranger, all in and addressing the class's high levels of player dissatisfaction and its ranking as D&D's weakest class by a significant margin. This is from Dungeons & Dragons. This is what they're saying. Players have a high level of dissatisfaction and it's ranking as D&D's weakest class by a significant margin, to my points earlier. Those two factors combined put us on the path to this revision. Though the revised Ranger retains many of the original elements, a lot has changed, so it's best to simply dig into the new material. You can think of the material presented in this series as similar to the first wave of the 5th edition playtest. Mechanics are in draft form, blah blah blah. Uh, it will range from mechanics, and we expect to one day publish in a supplement to house rules from our home campaigns that we want to share. This is, you know, how that's going to go. Uh, so... Here in September of 2016, they're saying that players don't enjoy it and it's exceptionally weak by a, mar a significant margin. We came up with a way to try to fix that and that's the Ranger Revised. Now, Crawford's saying in 2017, no plans to unleash alternative versions of the class. There's only one. It's the one in the player's handbook. So that's a very different mindset. Let's scroll down through this comment thread and you'll see some interesting stuff. Um, PHB Ranger is fine. I want to know the avalanche of hatred for which started. What's funny is that the Ranger isn't even in the bottom third when it comes to class popularity. Frankly, the revised Ranger helped feed an internet-fueled view of the class that doesn't align with the majority of players. I wasn't sorry to end it. Again, ending. What happened between here in September 2016 and now in 2017 and now 2018 where... It's not even in the bottom third, where here it was the high high levels of player dissatisfaction. So the only thing I can think of is I believe, one, here's something to think about. How are they quantifying class popularity? All right, Anybody that doesn't perform online surveys or doesn't use an online character creator, i.e. D&D Beyond, which is what I'm assuming this is based on, is the amount of people who have made characters in D&D Beyond, which is one of the only ways they can track these things, or people answering surveys, is where you'll get this information. What about the mass amount of people that don't use online character creators or don't have a desire to answer an errant D&D survey? All of those people aren't accounted for in this bottom third of class popularity. No, I'm not saying that that other amount of people don't play rangers because they very well might but i feel like the amount of people that play D, &D uh one if they only they have to use D, D beyond which in a lot of aspects to get what you want if you want to even make a ranger you have to pay for something if you already have the book you have to pay for it again to get the player's handbook information in D, &D beyond so that may be turning off people from buying it as they have to purchase stuff a second time to even use it so I don't know where this bottom third of popularity came from, but whatever. Frankly, the Revised Ranger helped feed an internet-fueled view of the class. Doesn't the majority of your viewer base and your fan base use the internet? To the point where you rely on people going into the internet to download Unearthed Arcana to provide you feedback on whether things are overpowered, underpowered. You do online surveys for each Unearthed Arcana released to then help decide what should happen to further what makes it into future books. That's why they do, on Arth Arcana and the week later, do a survey. Unless they're saying that all of the stuff that they take from the internet doesn't actually matter, and just their internal playtesting, you know, exclusive group are the ones they actually care about. Because an internet-fueled view of the class, 
who else is viewing the class? I mean, or who else, better yet, who else is viewing the class and also providing you feedback if it's not the internet? Maybe I'm misinterpreting that statement, but okay. Well, many people expected it. This is because many of our posts contradict each other. Um, and then, personally, I don't mind. I'm the player, blah, 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 revised ranger. He's saying they're here again. There's only one. You still have plans for alternative features? Um, we have no plans to release an alternative version of the class. Rangers are spellcasters. The fighter, barbarian, and rogue have some great options for a person who doesn't want to play a spellcaster. To this person, Chris D, asking, will you release one without spellcasting? And that is, again, was it an Unearthed Arcana, the, the spellless ranger, and they got rid of that. No, you talk, he needs more refinement, not, have not plans. I don't know what that means, but here we go. Um, before Rise, uh, here, this is, again, in uh, 2017. Before the Revised Ranger becomes official, it needs further refinement. After that, we'll get it into your hands. Thanks for the quick reply of a question, blah, blah, blah. So there we go. We can see right here in 2017. Now, I don't know OUT. Is that, uh, that's, oh, that's four out of 17, I guess, of posts. Or is that some other language's description of uh, a different month? But either way, 2017, few more refinements and we'll get it into your hands, which he said in 2017, not when he said in 2017, we're canceling it entirely. And then again, he quotes back, there's only one version of the class, the game. In the end, there will be one Ranger, the Player's Handbook Ranger. It will get alternative features. The official game won't have two versions of the class. We can see this is in October of 2017. Um, so... It, it's just confusion, it could just so much confusion as to whether or not, so this is saying there's only gonna be one version, it will get alternative features. The official game won't have two versions of the class. So the published version of the UA range will be published as an alternative rule. You'll be able to take X feature in place of Y feature. It won't be a whole different class. So that sounds more confusing to me. This is along the lines of alternative class features in previous editions, which is something they haven't introduced in fifth edition. So there's that. Um, let's keep scrolling through. Do we have any other thing of interest? Alternate features for multiple classes are still a possibility, but we want to do more research before we invest time in them. We don't want our design to chase phantoms, but real desires held by a large number of players. Again, are you still considering alternative versions of some classes, like you said in November of 2017? So it's just... I mean, you're seeing this. I've read through a lot of this, and I read through it again here with you guys. What do you guys think? Because I'm, honestly, I'm confused. The Revised Ranger existed in 2016 because people said that there was a reason for it. The Ranger was weak. Let's fix it. Then, in 2017, we hear it's going to be a few more tweaks, and it'll be available to you guys in 2017 then we hear there was only one version the player's handbook version there is not going to be alternative versions of the class so then we say there might be alternative class features that you can replace class feature x from the player's handbook with class feature y from this alternative list of class features i feel that's more confusing because then you need to have the player's handbook and whatever the supplement is and mix and match so not only is that two pieces of bookkeeping for you as the player, your DM needs to look through two things. If this goes through to, a, uh, you know, organized play, that's a whole nother thing. Whereas the revised Ranger was a self-contained document and you could have everything you needed from there. And I could be wrong. Um, there may have been things that just referenced the player's handbook. Nope, it was a full blown, here it is. This is the original document. Everything you needed to know was contained within this document so you could have it and then just use this to play your class. So now I'm looking at something that you guys can't see. Uh, everything is here that you can use the entire class self-contained. So now if this goes the way it's going and the way it sounds like it's going and the way things were confirmed yesterday and the day before, there is no more revised Ranger. There will be not a new document whatsoever. There possibly may be a document containing alternative features that you can then use to supplement existing features. But that means if there's a function of the class that's broken as it is, it will not be changed. It will just allow you to sub out a feature for a new feature. 
Uh, I feel, I, I wonder if partially this is because if you omit an alter, if you publish an, an alternative version of a class, that that admits that the core rulebook is inherently wrong or needed adjustments. And I wonder if that's part of the decision. I don't know if that actually comes into play, but I'm just trying to provide you guys as much of the facts as I know and as what I've seen so far. But as we stand here on the 29th of July, 2018, the true contained revised Ranger, Ranger revised is dead. Gone, never coming back. Obviously you guys can still use it if you want. The document exists on the internet and personally I'll be using it in any of my games. If I'm gonna play a Ranger or a player wants to play a Ranger, they have that option available to them. But it sounds like at some point, potentially published in a supplement or possibly not, just some sort of free document online, uh, there will be alternative class features for a ranger that you can sub in and out from the player's handbook. What'll be interesting is if it's contained in a physical printed book, then you need to theoretically purchase that book to get ways to alter a class that in a lot of argument, again, written in a document in 2016, was flawed. So now you need to go purchase a new book to get information to swap stuff out. And this sort of flies in the face of that whole, we don't want players to have to purchase additional books to play the game, which you technically don't. But if you're saying these features are there to make something that was weak stronger, then you would need to purchase this book. So in my ideal world, this will be released in a free to download PDF uh, and potentially would have some new options for other classes as well. If you're gonna go through the effort of making alternative features for one class, why not just start doing it for other classes? Uh, I realize again, this may lead down the road of previous editions where there's so many options and it's so much flip-flop and this and that, but we're three to four years into D&D 5th edition. The books are coming out a little bit faster now. We're getting two a year, now we're getting a couple more. Uh, which I think is a good a step in the right direction, although mostly half of the year stuff is new modules to play as opposed to new source materials like Morden Canaan's or Xanathar's. So I'm realize I'm rambling here at the end of this video, but I am extremely curious what you guys think about this. What do you think? Is this the right move? Canceling a whole new class that would be contained in a digital format in favor of alternative class features to supplement an existing class? To clarify, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you didn't understand that, uh, this is what they mean by alternative class features. So you get, say, favored enemy at level one as the player's handbook ranger. An alternative class feature would be, now you'd get, I don't know, um, natural smite, we'll call it, or something like that, right? So this would be similar to a paladin, and this is totally made up, by the way, I'll say that, but as an example, uh, you know, you replace favored enemy for natural smite. This would most likely never work just level-wise, but think about it. Uh, so you can deal an extra, you know, you could spend a spell slot and to deal an extra 1d8 weapon type of damage. So if it's a piercing weapon, it does an extra 1d8 piercing damage plus one level of, or 1d8 of piercing damage per spell slot expend, uh, expended, um, at a, on a ranged attack against a creature. If the creature is one of your, uh, is a beast or something, it does an extra D8 damage. Or you replace something to deal extra damage to your favorite enemy. But basically you're swapping out one feature and that feature is gone. You do not have that feature anymore in place of a new feature. And you basically have a list of old features and new features. And this one will say, you know, this can replace favorite enemy. This can replace primeval awareness. And you switch and you, drop one in and put another one in. So that's how that works, which again, as you can see, could potentially cause more confusion and add uh, more, I think it's good, personal opinion. I think it's good because it'll add complexity to the game and allow people to play one class sitting next to somebody playing the exact same class, the same subclass even, but still have variability in how they play. So I like it, but I'm curious what you guys think. So leave your comments in uh, and down below. Feel free to hate on the way I described this. I realized it did get a little biased before I backed off and, and kind of just looked at it. But, you know, my initial ire, I was I was angry. The Ranger Revise is gone forever. 
uh, but it sounds like it may be adjusted. But again, on face value, these popular tweets that are getting thrown around on the internet, just like I saw them, were like, everything's, this is done, no more, it's dead, forget about it. But upon a little bit of digging, you find out that there's more information there. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Oh,